this is Shonko and in this video I'm gonna talk about how we can uh, sort objects while trying to inject them into a list in Spring. So if you're not already familiar with how list dependency work, injection works in Spring, I would recommend you to pause this video and take a look at my other video where I talk about how list dependency injection works in Spring. So uh, for the demo, I've already created a project and I've named it demo and uh, these are the dependencies that we have inside the project so we have spring boot starter we have spring boot dev tools and we have spring boot starter test so first i'm going to create a class and call it person and make it an abstract class click on finish and inside this class i'm going to set A name and I'm gonna have an age and let's provide the getters and setters select all click on OK and one more thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna generate the two string method so I'm gonna say generate two string Okay. Right here, I'm just going to remove this. Okay, now let's create another class and call it student. And let's set the super class as person. And uh, let's create another class. Call it uh, say employee. And let's add person as a super class. This as well. All right. Now let's create another class. Call it config. And let's make this a configuration class. And let's have a list list of person auto wired. So I'm going to say person list. Get beans a person type so I'm gonna say public person say student one and I'm gonna say person student one equals new student and I'm gonna say student one dot set age I say 20 and student one dot set name as student one and I'm gonna return the student and let's have another bean and let's call this employee one and let's set this as employee and let's rename this as employee let's set the age is 21 let's the name as employee one all right let's have two more beans I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here I'm gonna say student two I'm gonna rename this as student two set 
years is 22 set the name as student 2 rename this as employee 2 and rename this as employee 2 set the age as say 23 I'll call this as employee 2 all right now let's have another bean and say public void test and here I'm gonna print course and list all right so let's run this Okay, so we have first we have student one, then we have employee two, then we have student two, and then we have employee two. So it is just the way we have defined it here, just the way we have defined uh, the bins here. So first we have student one, and then we have employee one, and then we have student two, and then we have employee two. But what if we want to sort them? What what if we want to have student objects first and then employee objects? So we can do it this way we can just say operate order and say ordered dot nice precedence and then I'm just gonna copy this All right, just let's have this this way. Just just run it. So this time we have the student objects for us. We have student one, student two, and then employee one and employee two. And say we have another class which extends person. So let's say uh, teacher. And uh, set the, the parent class as person. And click on finish and say, say okay. So first we want to have student objects. So I set the order as say one. And then we want to have right first. Let's have student. So first we are gonna have teacher objects and then we are going to have student objects and finally we are going to have employee objects so let's create a few teacher objects put it at the end so let me put it after this being so just I'll say teacher teacher one and uh, I'll say this as teacher and rename this to copy this name first and then rename this to one and say I'll set the age as 40 I call this teacher T -A -C -G, teacher one. and then I'm gonna copy this and paste it here so I'm gonna call this teacher 2 rename this I'll set the age as 44 and I'll call this teacher 2. Alright, so let's run this now. Okay, so first we have the teacher object, so teacher 1 and teacher 2, and then we have the student objects. 
uh, student1 and student2 and then we have the employee objects employee1 and employee2 so it, it doesn't really matter how we define the beings in a configuration class since we have marked them with this order annotation so uh, teacher comes first and then student and then we have employee so this is how we can uh, sort objects while trying to inject them into a list and screen so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy please give it a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching